ayaw kong mag-ipon or you have different idea, then this video is definitely not for you. This is only for people who really want and who need help or, or tips para sila ay makapag-ipon more effectively. Hi everyone! Kamusta? Welcome to my channel. It's Ayla. When I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah. Can you hold up? Don't need no car. Kasama ko ngayon si Ate Yoli. Siya din ay nandito sa Singapore. Nagtatrabaho. Bilang isang OFW dito sa Singapore. And I would like to share with you in this video another tricks or tips para magas maging effective ang inyong pag-iipon. Kung hindi nyo pa napapanood ang aking mga previous video, makikita nyo that nakapag-ipon ako na more than 85,000 pesos in just 6 months. And then, the next video after that, nag-share din ako ng mga tips ko kung paano ko nagawa para mas effective. But, hindi ako pa rin ako makamove on. Actually, meron ako mga nakailain up na ini-edit ng mga video. But, I just would like to share with you another three psychological tricks para mas effective ang pag-iipon. So, number one! saan ka ba talaga nag-iipon? Kailangan isulat mo sa iyong dapat naging clear kung para saan ang iyong iniipon. Ayan. Ang aking ipon ay para sa aking magiging puhunan kapag ako ay nag-forgood na sa Pilipinas. So, psychological trick number two is uh, dapat bigyan natin ng at least 30, day, 30 days rule bago natin bilhin ang isang bagay na gusto natin bilhin. But for me, I'm a bit extreme. Kapag, ka, for example, meron akong nagustuhang shoes na for me is medyo may kamahalan pero talagang gusto ko siyang bilhin, I give it at least 3 months. Talaga pinag-iisipan ko siya ng matagal. Siguro kapag, ka, for example, this shop, andito yung uh, paborito ko or gusto kong bilhin na shoes, lagi ko siyang pinupuntahan every off day ko or from time to time. Binabalikan ko siya kasi chine-check ko kapag ka, talagang gusto ko ba talaga to, is it worth it? Kasi iniisip ko, meron naman akong shoes bakit pa ako bibili ng another one? Pero kapag ka talaga hindi nagbago yung isip ko, gusto kong bilhin talaga itong sapatos to, at least magkaroon naman ng sale, di ba? So yeah, I give it three months. At lahat ng friends ko, kahit yung kapatid ko sinasabi, sobrang extreme naman. Ang, ang tagal naman nung three months. Pero yeah, ganun ako. For you, I would say maybe give it 30 days, one month, or one week. Pag-isipan mo muna, huwag kang bibili agad. Una mo palang kita. But there are exceptions, of course, kasi ikaw naman nakakaalam kung kailangan mo talaga siya yung isang bagay na, na gustong gusto mo. And then, but for example, yung mga damit. Um, bumibili naman ako from time to time ng bagong damit kasi meron ako extra naman, meron akong budget para doon. And then, um, what I do is, nag-window nag shopping ako, nag-check ako ng mga new arrivals. Kapag meron ako nagustuhan, usually hindi ko siya binibili agad. Binabalikan ko after 30 days. Ang laman ko kasi, kasi yung size ko hindi ako petite. I am not as, hindi ako small size. And usually yung mga taga dito are petite and slim. So yung mga ganong sizes na unang nauubos at yung size, size ko naman is yun yung natitira. And usually yung mga stores, um, kapag ka mga last sizes na ginagawa ng 50% off or nagkakaroon sila ng mga, mga discounts. Kaya after 30 days or end of the month, uh, pagbalik ko, mura na lang siya and then doon ako bumibili. <laughs> so there you go, my my third and last um, psychological trick na aking uh, isashare sa inyo is very important about conditioning your mind. For example, uh, ano ba yung mga usual na pinagkakagastusan natin? You can answer that on your own. For me, siguro sa pagkain, sa, sa like gadgets because I also like buying stuff for, for my vlogging. But I always um, think about hindi dapat masira yung budget ko, hindi dapat ako um, mag- um, yun, negative yung malahan ng ano, pang gasto sa pagkain or whatsoever. But one thing that siguro um, binawasan ko is eating fast food chains. For me, before, I thought that eating on Jollibee or McDonald's is something that is really good, but not anymore. One thing is it's not really very healthy. And then you can eat actually other healthier food on a, on a, on a lesser price. And then, for example, when I uh, I have something like I want to buy a gadget like this one, bumili ako ng gimbal. I I actually waited and nung meron kami bisita, binigyan ako ng tip. Then nagkaroon ako ng, ng lakas ng loob na bilhin yun because hindi ko kailangang um, bawasan yung aking budget or ang aking ipon. Kasi meron ako na earn na extra money. Kaya nakabili ako ng gimbal. And then there are certain, certain things like this one. I could have bought the yung mahal, yung 
ang tawag ng Gorilla. But then, I don't really need that brand. I only need tripod. So, I bought a cheaper. It's only like $10 or I think 11 something like that. So, yeah. And then, when it comes to clothes, I already told you about buying um, 30 days. You give a week or a month. And for me, it's a bit extreme. Yeah, three months bago ko bilhin. Pero pinag-iisipan ko talaga. Because I'm sure you have experience like buying something tapos pinagsisihan mo kasi I realize that, ay, hindi ko pala talaga siya masyadong type. It's not for me or whatsoever ko ano man yun. I'm sure you have experienced that. And sayang yung pera, guys. <laughs> sayang. And one more thing na witness ko is drinking a really good coffee. And I am so blessed na meron kaming coffee machine sa bahay. So, it's actually free. I enjoy good coffee. And it's free. Nasa bahay lang. But then, this kind of coffee sa labas cost actually like around more or less $5. But when I'm outside, I don't buy Starbucks or those kind of expensive coffee. Kasi meron din namang mura sa food court, which only costs like a dollar or a dollar or something. Thank you. So yeah. Ilang din pong idagdag that ang magkaroon ng ipon ay napaka-rewarding for a person that grew up in poverty at take it really seriously to save. Not disregarding my responsibility to the church, to my community, and of course sa aking pamilya. Kasi aanhin mo din naman ng nakakapag-ipon ka, napapabayaan mo naman yung mahalagang bagay sa paligid mo, mahalagang tao sa paligid mo. And as the Bible says, it is better to give than to receive, and giving to those in need is an act of giving to God. And for those people who think na pag-iipon ay, ay mali, well, God taught His people in the Bible to prepare for a coming tagutom, right? So, as long as you're not exceeding at nagiging greedy ka na at nagiging focus ka na sa pag-iipon, napapabayaan mo na yung mga responsibilities mo, I think it is okay. Thank you guys for watching! When I wake up, I feel cozy, yeah. Can you hold up? Don't need no